Hi folks, it's time to do some molecular level cooking in your own home kitchen. We're gonna make a beer cheese dip. So, how do you make a beer cheese dip? Well, we're gonna have some beer, we're gonna need some cheese, but anyone who's ever tried this, even making a cheese dip, knows that it's really, really hard. The trick, of course, is that the cheese, when you melt it, becomes all lumpy. It doesn't become creamy like you, the typical cheese dip that's served at restaurants. So what's the secret trick? Because there is one. The trick is getting the cheese to melt into a creamy texture. Now the main issue with melting and emulsifying cheese is that it's slightly acidic, a bit too acidic to get the proteins to emulsify and get it to turn into that creamy, uh, sweet, tasty sauce that we're longing for. Now that can be compensated for by using a third ingredient, which is sodium citrate. Sodium citrate is also called sour salt or citric salt, and it's made when fermenting uh, citric acid. The thing, if you taste it, you can obviously taste that it's salty, but also that it really tastes sour, just like you would taste when tasting a lemon. And we're going to use it in very small amounts, but you need very little to get the cheese to cooperate so we can turn that into a creamy dip. So what about proportions then? Well, we're going to use cheese. Uh, that's the main ingredient, obviously. One part cheese measured in weight. Then we're going to use half a part beer. And specifically for the consistency I'm looking for in this dip, we're going to use sodium citrate 2-3% measured from the whole weight, I mean beer plus uh, cheese. Got a little jar here, it's not very expensive and uh, I bought 100 grams, which is roughly four ounces. Uh, this is gonna last me a long time, so unless you plan on making cheese dip on a weekly basis, you can get this and share or split with a friend. It looks just like regular salt, I would say, uh, but again, it has a sour taste, so how are we going to blend this together? Well, we're going to heat up the beer because even though the sodium citrate dissolves in a liquid, it goes much quicker and easier to dissolve it if you heat it up. So we're going to add the beer to a pan and we're going to add the salt and we're going to stir a little and as soon as it has, uh, as soon as it's mixed, we're going to add the cheese. Now the cheese, you can grate it or you can just cut it in cubes, either way is fine. Uh, I'll, I'll just cut it in cubes for now and we're going to add it to the liquid and we're going to keep stirring and you will see how it turns into that nice creamy tasty dip that we're looking for. So let's get started. Now in order to make this you need precision kitchen scales. So I'm going to measure 100 grams of cheese and then we're going to measure the beer in weight also. Let's see what this turns into, 119, pretty close. Gonna be exact today, so let's cut off something. Little chef's share, 109, still another 10 to go. Hundred and two, good enough. So that's what we're gonna use. Now also, to measure the beer, I'm gonna use one of these. Zero the scales and See how much, so I'm going to use one part cheese, half a part beer, so that should turn into 50 grams. And there you have it, so that's all the beer, and then we're going to add the sodium citrate. Now, a 2% mix of this means we have 150 grams of weight, so 2% of that turns into 3 grams which is just a tiny, tiny amount. I'm gonna measure it with this one. But so we're gonna add the beer to the pan and start heating it up and then we're gonna add the sodium citrate. This should be quick because we don't have that much liquid. So I'm gonna put this here and then add this one, push zero. That's 0.66. That's 1.6. That's 2.4 and then a little more. 
that's good. So that's three grams. So as you can see, you need very little, but this is going to help stabilize the cheese and also reduce acidity. So while this is getting heated up, I'm going to dice the cheese. Good. So then we're about ready to add the cheese to the mix. I'm gonna pull down the heat just a bit. Don't want it boiling. And now I'm just gonna stir. Let it simmer gently until the cheese has dissolved into the beer. As you can see, it's a relatively quick operation this just takes a few minutes i'm just aware of not boiling it but i want to let it simmer so the cheese has time to melt slowly see it's already turning into a nice cream again good already. Just a minute or two more and then I'm happy. I think the sauce is done. Just gonna pour it into my little cup here. This is looking really good. See? Nice and creamy. just the right size container also. Sweet, it's time to taste this. All right, time to try, try the cheese dip. Got some Grissini breadsticks. Mm, this is good. Real tasty. The nice thing about this is, of course, you can use any cheese you want, so depending on flavor, you can go with the sharp cheddar, you can use Parmesan, etc., whatever you prefer. But the same thing with beer, so go wild on beer selection. Pick a beer you like with lots of flavor and start combining. And of course you can use wine also. The key ingredient is the sodium citrate, which helps, helps emulsify the cheese. So that's, that's the key, top secret. Really good stuff. I really enjoy it because I wanted to make a nice cheese dip or a cheese sauce for a long time and I haven't figured out why but now I know so I thought I wanted to share that with you guys really good stuff also if you want a different consistency perhaps you want it a bit thicker you can just reduce the liquid by a little amount like now I use 50% liquid you can go down to 30 or 40 or on the other hand if you want it runnier then go up to 60 or 70% liquid but it's all good uh, so now you know how to make it Real tasty stuff, real easy, real quick, so big win, I would call it. Go ahead and try this, I'm sure you're going to love it. Thanks for watching.